Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 6 of Civilization 6. And I've got some choices to make here, actually. Uh, I planned at the end of the last video to send some more units down to Canada and, and try and grab Vancouver, maybe Ottawa, I don't know. I just wanted to be able to get down here to get NITA. Might be a bit of a dive that isn't needed. I mean, it's not going to be a great spot anyway because most of it is tundra or just like snow tiles so that's a bit crappy to be honest um they do have mercury in vancouver which is nice and that those double rice tiles would be nice as well so maybe i do want to grab vancouver um my other option though is to that is to go north and try and have a grab at korea um because it's more hilly terrain up here which sort of benefits me more uh as gull and they dislike me anyway so maybe that's the plan or may maybe we try and grab vancouver first and then work our way up i i don't know i've already got most of my units down here so maybe we just go grab vancouver and then think about moving some units up there that's that's probably what i'm going to do because I am trying to build that opium up here, which will help. Um, now, I've create. Why did I create a builder up here? I mean, mines are good. I need to get around there, actually. I can get around there, just got to walk the long way around. But we can get those uh, truffles on there. Um, mines are good for us, anyway. So let's build, let's just spam a couple of mines and we'll go around and, and get that. So you've now finished what you were working on. I can get an oppidum, so let's go ahead and get that. We could, of course, if I bought this tile, get a plus two. I can't afford the tile, which is a shame. When, when are we going to stretch to there? Uh, a while away. Do I have anything that I can sell to anybody? Not to you. I mean, I, I guess I could sell some Diplo Favor. You give me five gold for one Diplo Favor. If I give you ten... How much would I need to give you? Mm -hmm. You should be able to set the, the amount here. Mm -hmm. How much would I have to give you? Mm -hmm. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Now, what I'm also going to do is wait a turn, because I want to go and remove the marsh first. Uh, so, we will buy the tile anyway. Actually, that's silly. This is Grassland Hills. I don't need to buy the tile, do I? You know what I should have done is just built a mine on that, because that's not going to be an operative anymore now. So, I'll build a mine there. In the meantime, what do we need? Let's get another... Let's start working on a trebuchet, actually. Especially if we are going to be trying to take on Korea later. Um, I can use that money to start upgrading some of these other units, I think. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Yeah, I didn't really need, to, I didn't really need that money, but it's fine. Always do something with it. Now, it is possible that Canada will declare a war on me because I've got my units next to his territory. Uh, we'll see what happens there. can't remember what I was doing with these guys. Do we want to grab farms on these tiles? I mean... Probably. We don't own these ones yet. I could go around here and get the dyes. For Toronto. 
Probably not a bad idea. Um, let's get you over there and get that mine. It'll grab some tiles for us, actually. We'll start improving that. I'm not too sure. Where, was I sending you down here to sort of help out with this barbarian camp? I think I've got a feeling that I probably was. So he does have a encampment there, which is slightly problematic. Friendship has expired with Dido. Let's see if we can... Ah, Dido won't have a friendship anymore. Interesting. So she's still friendly. We'll send a delegation. And we'll try again on another turn. So, you have produced a settler. Why did I make another settler? I can't even remember now. We don't have a harbour yet. We we'll probably do with one. Also, we could need a government plaza somewhere as well. It's never a particularly good one to have. So, we'll just go ahead and pop it there. Now, what was I going to do with that settler? You were probably the one that I was going to send down here to try and grab this. I mean, it'll be an awful city. It wouldn't be the first awful city that I've built. That's not the way I wanted to go. Come, yeah, go go down through this way. And then we'll, uh, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. You can carry on working down here. Now, Kabul and Hong Kong. I need to check who they are. Oh, bandits. There's a flood. Oh, minus three population. That's unfortunate. That was a big hit to Toronto. Anyway. The taxpayer. That's someone who works for the... Let's leave civil service for the moment. Kabul, suzerain nobody. Hong Kong, suzerain... Yeah, it's still him. So we will have to d deal with Hong Kong as well. I've actually got a dark age, which is very unfortunate. So let's go for monumentality. It'll be fine. And... All of these are going to be pretty difficult. Maintain four trade routes, can't even have any. Build four mar two markets, we don't even have any um, economic quarters yet. Kill a unit with a quadrine probably isn't going to happen, so we'll just start working on that one. So yeah, you come down here. You can stay fortified. So yeah, unfortunately Toronto took a bit of a hit there. Luckily we do have a, or did have, a builder heading over there. Not sure if any of these tiles got destroyed. That one did. That's a pillaged farm. I don't think any of these other tiles are pillaged. So we can repair that and then go and get that mine. Lots of city-state quests coming in. Now then, up here. We were going to go there. Can't get it on this turn. Yeah, we need to grab that tile fast. Well, we will do when we grab the mine here on the next turn, assuming that this all goes according to plan. Being attacked by the uh, barbarians, that's fine. Let's just go in there and give them a big hit. Oh! Montreal is potentially going to flip at this rate. But because I don't have a... No, I do have a unit in there. Um, I think it's because of the population loss in Toronto that's, that's kind of affected that. Uh, so you are going to... Yep, yeah, straight up build a mine. So that's grabbed that tile for us. We'll delete that pin. We'll grab the opidum there. Um, eight turns. I'm actually going to do that first. And then we will put the trebuchet. Oops, nope. We'll put the trebuchet back in the queue. And our production down here in Montreal. Probably Granary. Let's try and get um, population up if we can. In fact, population is only three. If I'm willing to give up one production and two gold work a food oh that was a good food tile anyway there we go yeah work those tiles we'll try and get grit get the food up if we can i mean we do have victor in there anyway 
So yeah, I think we really we really oh it's because we're in a dark age, that's why it's dropping. It's it's the penalty for being in a dark age. So not really a surprise. Um let's keep moving some of these units in, keep upgrading them to crossbows because we still can. Probably not gonna get to upgrade that chariot. So you can repair that. Toronto's getting repaired up, so that's fine. So yeah, I think we're going to need to take that, otherwise we're going to have issues later. City losing loyalty. Yeah, Toronto's losing loyalty now, though that's 36 turns, so that one's not a big issue, but Montreal really is. Can't afford to upgrade any more units at this time. Is it time to declare war? Because I do have a lot of units around here. Potentially risky with this settler, but I think I can escort him down. Let's go ahead and do this. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hang on. No, wrong button. Declare war. As we can reach. Okay, so we, we're now at war once again. And I am going to try and take Vancouver. We also need to, before we attempt to take Vancouver, deal with Hong Kong. Now he does have crossbows, which are problematic. But not the end of the world. Now Ottawa does have city walls. So I don't want to get too close to Ottawa. I'm going to move down with the rest of my units where I can. Uh, I can clear that. Oh, I didn't want to move that far. That was a misclick. But we did get rid of their... Um... That's the crossbowman. Can you not move? We did get rid of their general. Well, he's, you don't get rid of them, but he's moved back into the city now um, so let's just start moving forward with some of these units where we can might have lost the vampire but if I do he'll come back anyway it's not it's not the worst unit to lose unit needing orders I does not like Hong Kong's got any more units at the moment so we might be okay there now you could move up and then you'd be in bombardment range of two crossbows, which I don't really like the sound of, so let's not do that with you. You skip a turn. You get over there. Wow, yeah, even this one's got problems coming in. So what do we use you for? We can't get over there for some reason. Oh yeah, because we'd have to go through Leventa. Leventa's not friendly. Let's go and get the banana plantation then. We'll leave you to heal one up. They might send some units out of Windsor. I don't know what they're going to do. So they are taking some shots at my crossbows. That's fine. Hong Kong's now got city walls, which is good to know. It doesn't really affect me too much. I'll just back up away from there. That's fine. So you took a hit from this crossbow. That's okay, though, because that crossbow's now put himself into a position where he's going to be reasonably easy to take. So there's one crossbow down already. It, um, you can't move close enough, unfortunately. Not on this turn. Uh, you're, you've got to heal. You're going to back up because you need to heal up. You can move in a little bit with the chariot. You could move over there. It would be a major victory. You are within range of the um, encampment, but they don't have city walls yet, so that's not a big problem. Let's make sure that we keep units in the city. Because it still looks like it's going to rebel. And I don't think I've got any policies I can use to stop that. 
What can we build over here? Anything useful? Amenities and housing in cities with governors. Minus two loyalties in city without governors. Increase production towards settlers, which we don't really need. Catch an enemy city grants a production uh, a bonus to production. Probably worthwhile. We've got a governor title. Uh, can we give you anything? Can't be put under siege. Units defending the territory get more combat strength. Your other cities within nine tiles gain four loyalty per turn towards your civilization. I'll give him that anyway. Yeah, we've got to be careful here. 18 turns on that one. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Friendship is now ended with Suleiman. He has accepted the friendship. Let's try again with Dido. Uh, she said yes this time. Okay, cool. Um, that's not too bad. Pledge broken. Pledge to the Canadian Empire that to move troops from the border has been broken. Well, yeah, because I'm at war with him. <laughs> um, yeah, this settler... Again, got to be careful. Can theoretically get him down here. Probably going to need an escort. Windsor's not going to have walls at this stage. How come you can't shoot from there? That's not a hill, is it? Well, it is apparently. Okay. So moving on the next turn then. Oh, musketmen. Well, that's not great. Uh, no, I don't need any deals with you for now. Uh, yes, we'll have uh, Embassy from Suleiman. So we did take a hit there to the Heavy Chariot. They've spawned a crossbow, which is most unfortunate. Promotion available on the crossbow. That's an insta-clear. Don't think he can take us out from there, so we should be okay. Um... Yeah, you can just take that crossbow straight out. And now I think we can start moving some units in. The chariot is really badly damaged, but I did get it for free. I think it's going to take a lot to take the city down. We need to keep some of these units around here just for when we lose the city, because we will lose the city. Um... Can I upgrade you yet? 108, no. Three turns and it might flip. You should still be out of range. You stand underneath one of my own units at least. You can't really hit anything from there, so skip a turn. Fire started. Not in my territory yet, but it's getting remarkably close. Got some era score there. Hopefully we'll, we'll dodge getting another flipping Dark Age. So that set is going to skip a turn. So we're, we're sort of having to skirt, skirt through Vancouver's territory. Now they haven't got any more units in here unless they buy any. We have a trade route. Uh, Ankara. Istanbul might be a good one. Give us some science, some gold, some production, some culture. It's a long route, but it'll help build some trade route roads. Which are always useful. Yes, you can get that mine. Well, it's actually a quarry, isn't it? Because it's on stone. But it's still worth having. Um, we want the dyes as well. You're about to gain one population. 86 turns. Toronto might actually be alright. Once it gains population. I don't know what his problem is. Right, I want to see what happens when Toronto gets to... Um, population 4. Right, population 4, 121 turns. I think that's now fine. I'm going to save that promotion, am I? No, let's give you that promotion. And I'm going to let you heal up a little bit. Now then, doesn't look like they've brought any more units in here, which is really good for us. 
Fortunately, I'm not really in a great spot to take any more shots with a lot of these units. They're a little bit too far away. It's a little bit too easy for Vancouver to um, regain health. But I'll keep taking shots where I can. I need to get some more crossbows closer. This one's taking damage, unfortunately. Can't afford to upgrade this one yet. Ideally, I should bring this one back. But I'm, I've been trying to deal with this for ages. I should really just, just back up out of there. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll attack from the other side. Uh, I will put that spearman in here. I mean, why not? Let's let's go and start um, being a pain. Let's just go and move that general out of the city. So yeah, he's under siege now, so he can't actually uh, heal that city. That's good for us. Let's get that there. You're still potentially going to rebel in 14 turns. Which is not good. Yes, yeah, the Dark Age causing the problem. Can't upgrade that archer on this turn. So we'll skip a turn. Yeah, Vancouver can't heal up, so that's good for us. If we can take Vancouver within the next... Oh, it's only one turn. But if I can take Vancouver quickly, it'll make this whole thing a lot easier. That would be a major defeat. So, not great. Really wish you'd heal up a little bit faster. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, we can afford to upgrade that archer to a crossbow. So, yeah, we might end up having to take um, Montreal back very soon. Population is stagnant. Are there any policies that I could swap? I know we can't actually do it yet, but do I have any policies that would increase loyalty? Plus two loyalty per turn for cities with a garrisoned unit. I think that's the only one that I've got. How much loyalty per turn are we losing here? Yeah, plus two isn't going to make any difference. So it's not worth doing that. Okay, well it's going to be problematic, but not devastating. Toronto should be fine. Let's get the water mill. I'm going to leave that settler here for the time being. Just because I've got obviously these other units. Although now I've got the problem of them bringing in more units behind me. Which is an issue. Now that Spearman, I'm not going to do anything with him on this turn. Because... Yeah, we get, we get a major defeat there. The Vampire would actually get a major victory though, so I'm going to go ahead and do the hit just to get its health down. You would get a major defeat. You would get a major defeat also. I might be able to take that on the next turn actually. Um, 13 turns and we could still lose this. We'll get another mine there. Let's go on to the next turn. Let's say we will lose um, Montreal temporarily. We knew that was going to happen. So let's try and sort this mess out before we go any further. Let's start moving up with you. So Montreal has flipped. Let's just see what we can do in terms of Vancouver. I know some of these guys have got promotions, but... Right. Can you grab it? Yes. Vancouver is ours. That instantly makes life quite a lot easier here. Now we need to take these hostile units out, if we can. Major victory. Okay, it's leaving us with one unit left. Behind the tree, so we can't really do much right now. 
So we'll try and take that on the next turn. We will keep Vancouver. Obviously, it's going to rebel anyway. Uh, we could... Well, I can't put um, Victor in... Not, yeah, I can't put Victor in there right now. It's pretty pointless getting you to repair most of this stuff when you'll probably flip. It's the Dark Age that's kind of screwed me over here. It was just unfortunate. Um, we'll leave you guys as is. Yeah, Governor removed from Montreal. Uh, lost friendship with Saladin. And he has re-accepted friendship. Cool. So let's get a mine there. 11 turns. We're going to struggle getting some units up here, actually. So we might need to purchase some. That's going to make life difficult. Yep, yeah, Siege Tower I'm not bothered about. Spearman, you can't really do anything right now. Settler. Well, I can start moving this settler down here now. We can use these guys to escort him. I'm not bothered about Windsor, although he has just got a trebuchet in there. We've just been denounced by Korea. So that's fine. Yeah, trebuchet's just appeared in Windsor. And I think that trebuchet... The Navy is not a provocation to war. I think that trebuchet also just hit my crossbowman. Let's go ahead and grab... Governors give two loyalty. We'll lose one science and one culture, but hey-ho. And... Was the one... For a garrisoned unit as well? Two loyalty per turn for cities with a garrisoned unit. So, we do have a unit in there. It's probably not going to help an awful lot. Where one turn, that's going to rebel. Um, we need to try and take this back if we can. Well, it's, the it's the city I need to be hitting if I want to try and take it back, isn't it? Let's get you around here. We've also got units coming in from Hong Kong that we need to be wary of. Let's get rid of you. Let's move you away from Hong Kong a little bit. This unit needs to move out of here away from that trebuchet. Take another shot at you. Might lose a few units here. It's unfortunate. I'm not going to be able to peace out yet, am I? No, ten more turns before we can do that. Uh, let's go on to Theology. Over here, what should we get? I think we're probably going to need some more units. Let's get a crossbowman because we're going to need to get up here and uh, potentially take this back very soon. We could go ahead and put um, Magnus over there. That might be enough to stop that one flipping. It's not ideal, but... And if we could get Hong Kong, that's going to make future life easier for us. Um, let's also get Liang. For the time being, we'll put her in Toronto. Because she will be able to use her for stopping disasters and stuff. And we can assign Victor as well. We'll put Victor in... Vancouver. So it's going to delay it by one turn. It's not great. Governor is available for assignments. Um, doesn't look like they are. So we do have a unit garrisoned in there. Yeah, we need to get this city to flip over pretty quickly. And it'll, that'll actually help take some... We might end up having to take Vancouver back again. But I think that'll be fine. Getting down here is going to be very, very tricky. I'm a little bit worried about this um, settler at the moment. 
I'm going to move him down here. We'll try and just keep him next to that man at arms. And then I've got quite a few units that aren't doing anything. Although, we can go ahead and get rid of that general. I say get rid of it, just just moves them back to the uh, to the capital. I don't want to move closer to Hong Kong. I can't move into here to take out Montreal. It is under siege though, so that'll make taking it back a little bit easier. So you're going to heal up. That's the end of the turn. We've been going for 30 minutes now, so it's a good place to end the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.